Hi, it's Gordon here at Averlight, and I'm going to take you through using playback groups, which is a new feature inside version 13. I've got a few playbacks here that I'd like to group together to save me having to bring one up and one down every single time I start operating my show. So I'm going to hit the group hard key on top of the numeric keypad and soft key E now says playback groups. Soft key B, record playback group. That sounds good to me. I'm now going to choose this playback and this playback and this playback. I can enter a number if I want, enter a user name if I want. And now I can say store. As soon as you do this, you'll see that there is a small star appearing on the far right hand side of every legend of these playbacks. If I bring the first one up, it will fire exactly as normal. If I start bringing the next one up, it will actually let go of this first one. There is an additional workspace window that we've created in version 13 called playback groups. If I say open workspace window and find the one called playback groups, you'll see there my group and what playback is currently being fired. You can fire them from this window as well if you'd like. If I go into the options of this playback group, I can choose if all of the playback groups are mutually exclusive. I can choose whether the kill point is as soon as the next fader has fully fired or when the fade is completed. I can choose to release the previous playback when the next one's fired. I can also choose a release mask. If you need some time to work through these options, then it's completely fine. Every single one of them has a handy little icon next to it, so you can get a bit more of an explanation over what they do. You can keep adding playback groups to your heart's content. And now I know that as soon as I fire this one, this one's gonna get let go. As soon as I fire this one, this one's going to get released because that's how I've set it up. If you ever need to delete a playback group, you can always say delete, select it on the left hand side so it goes red and then choose confirm on your soft keys. New feature just for version 13 and above. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.